And Tom joins me now from Minnesota. Uh, Tom, you served in Walls' battalion. When you heard that Kamala tapped him to be VP, how'd you feel? Uh, that was a tough one. Uh, I seen the leadership he did in Minnesota, and I have my stories about what he did to the military when he uh, left us like that. And I was kind of like, are you kidding me? That was, that's all I could think. When you were there in the battalion and you heard you were going to deploy and then you found out your leader, Walls, wasn't going with you, he had ditched, what was everybody saying? But it wasn't, it wasn't so bad for the troops at that time because they didn't really know what was going on. Where it really hit him is when they came back and then it all exploded as what he, he got out to do, uh, to, to go into politics and stuff like that. And then when Tom Barron's, uh, Command Sergeant Barron's story came out and they found out what he did, then people were mad because we all did what we were supposed to do. We did the right thing. And uh, it's dishonorable what he did. He left, he, left, uh, he left somebody else up to take over his spot. He just ditched us. Why do you think Walls ditched you? I believe he, my idea is he, he probably knew he wasn't a good leader and he wanted to do something else. And what we did, did what we did get a really good leader with Command Sergeant Barons, and he led us, he saved a lot of lives over there. He was on, he led squads when he wasn't sure if, if they could handle it. So we actually went out and led squads out into the deal. He found the artillery, they were shooting at us. And then when I see the leadership that Walsh offered to Minnesota, with burning the city down and uh, the, the rules he's uh, during COVID, what he did, I'm thankful he didn't come over there or we'd have brought back a lot more body bags. Tom Barron's, he saved a lot of lives for us by being a good leader. Walsh is saying he carried a weapon in war. He didn't. How does that make you feel? <sighs> well, there you go with the stolen valor again. I think that's a, that's a, it's what he made up to progress, uh, advance himself in a political world. That's what I think he used everything. Uh, the saying he was a command sergeant major and retired. Uh, the whole story came down when he was running for governor, actually. The, this uh, film with Command Sergeant ba Barons, they offered it to the Star and Tribune. And Tom says, uh, if it's true, print it. If it's not, go ahead and sue me. So they went and vetted the whole thing. The guy came back and said, it's absolutely true. But I'll uh, get back to you. And then an hour later, he says, we're not going to bet it because we think it's going to sway his election. So this whole thing came in Minnesota before. But now that it's, now that it's, it's uh, national, the news in Minnesota, as you know, is quite, we're the most liberal state. But now it's national and it's getting attention and there's some conservative vo voices. So the story will get out now. It will get out. You can't keep a lid on something like this. It's just, it's too disrespectful to the people who have served. What kind of leader would Walls make? What kind of leader would he make? I think everything he's done is a list of them coming out. A, a, a leader in Iraq, it would have been terrible. He's a, a leader, basically, how do you say it? A leader leads by example, and uh, I don't think he'd fare real well. All right. It's just well, uh, stay on that. Well, he, uh, if he's fortunate enough to win, it'd be a heartbeat away from being commander in chief. So. Talking that leader, no, that would be a disaster if he ever got to in control of them or to be the commander in chief. It'd be a disaster. All right. Well, Tom, thank you so much for your service and, and thanks for joining Jesse Waters Prime Time. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jesse. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.